Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you the fragrances I got in the month of June, and I got some really good ones. So if you'd like to see what I got, if you like these haul videos, then keep watching. I always like to share with you guys the fragrances I get each month. You seem to really like these videos. This month there wasn't that much, which is good, because I'm trying not to go too crazy. And a lot of the stuff I got this month was actually sent to me, and I always like to be transparency purposes, let you guys know where I got things. So I'm going to let you know which ones I bought and which ones were sent to me to review. Now, one of the coolest things that happened this month was Lola from Lola Sense actually was in Miami. So uh, Tina from The Critical Virgo and I got to hang out with her all afternoon. It was so fun. We went to Osme, which is this amazing perfume store, um, niche perfume store in downtown Miami. We did a little bit of damage and we pretty much spent hours in there talking with Maurice, the owner of the store, and just sampling and sniffing. And it was so much fun. We all got a little something and I'm really happy with what I got. So I'm going to share with you uh, what I purchased. And yeah, so let's do it. I was really excited because they had some houses I've been really wanting to check out there. And a regular source for fragrances that I've been meaning to purchase. If you guys don't know, about a year and a half ago, when one of my first fragrance first impressions, I did an impression of Tule Tula from Maja Bakali. And I loved that scent. And when I saw that they had it there, I was so excited. So I purchased the small bottle of it. Although I kind of wish I'd gotten the big one because the presentation for that is gorgeous. But I'm not sure how frequently I'm going to wear this. So I figured I'd get the small bottle of it. And if I liked the, um, if I wore through it really quickly, I'd go get the big bottle of it. So this is one of the fragrances I got there. And it's just really gorgeous. A beautiful, and I mean beautiful, almond scent. I'm going to do a dedicated review on this one very soon. Because it was a while when I did a fragrance first impression. And I want to do a dedicated review of it. But this scent from Maja Bakali, I love her nose, I love her presentation, I love her point of view when it comes down to fragrances. And this is one I have been meaning to add to my collection for over a year. And so I was excited to finally add it to my collection. They also had a masterclass there a few weeks before we went there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go, but when we did make a purchase, they were very nice. Uh, it was a masterclass for um, Parfums uh, de Nicolai, and they gave us, they each of us, since we bought something, they also gave us this nice travel size atomizer. So this is 50 mil. And this is Cap Neroli, and this is gorgeous. I really like this house. This is a house I have been meaning to get into. They have a fig tea fragrance. Oh my gosh, I almost got that one. And they also had a beautiful, I think it was called Violet in Love. That scent was so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So I definitely need to explore this house more, but Cap Neroli is beautiful. And I'm really excited to add this to my collection because that's a house I've really wanted to explore. The next one, this is, uh, the fragrance is called Le Mat, and this entire house is amazing. So Le Mat means the fool, uh, so that's what this is, the card, and the presentation of this is unreal. So this is designed to resemble how um, art is boxed, and so what you do is you remove it, and this is the fragrance. Now I'm going to be doing a review of this, there's going to be, and then I'm going to be um, reviewing a friend with another reviewer this scent as well so there's going to be a review of this on my channel in the next few weeks and then another review that I'm going to be a part of with this because this scent really deserves a lot of attention this is a gorgeous gorgeous scent the presentation of this house is absolutely unreal this is a beautiful floral scent but the immortal in this is just unreal this is a very immortal um dominated scent at least on my skin and my nose and it's just ridiculously beautiful and again the presentation is stunning so really excited so that is what i got from my little excursion with tina and lola and i'm going to share with you the rest of you guys I know i like to swap if you guys go on my depop i'm always adding new fragrances to my collection decut decluttering getting rid of things i don't wear too much specifically grab and go scents and things like that and i'm always open to swaps so i did a swap and somebody had watched a video from a year ago and it was from one of the bordeaux fragrances that i really liked and i couldn't find and she was like i really like this scent 
I have this one, it doesn't really work on my skin too much, would you like to swap? And I was like, yes, please. So she was very generous and she sent me a whole bunch of samples and she also sent me um, a half a bottle of, this is from um, La Citane. This is one of their discontinued fragrances. This is Miel and Citron Honey and Lemon. This is a gorgeous scent. I don't know why La Citane decides to discount or discontinue their scents. I like, I'm so angry at that, but I was so excited because I, I love this scent. So I was really glad to have a little bit of a backup. And then the one that she um, sent to me, I cannot pronounce Russian at all, but it was this one. It was a pretty full bottle. I was really excited for. And this was my favorite one out of all of them. So I was so excited. This is a gorgeous scent. I really love this line from Bordeaux. It's really affordable. They're really gorgeous scents and I've just really been enjoying them. So I was really excited to get this too. Can you guys see the name? I, I don't... I'm horrible in Russian. I can't, I can't read it. I can barely speak it. I had friends who spoke Russian, so I used to be able to like understand and learn, know how to pronounce things and say a few things there and back to each other, but it's, it's, it's gone. It's, it's completely gone. Next up are some fragrances that were sent to me. These were sent to me by Forever Lux. Uh, I chose these fragrances to review for my channel and um, they're fragrances I'm very well acquainted with. Forever Lux wanted uh, to know if I wanted to check out their service to see if it's something I wanted to share with you guys. I've been really impressed with them, but I am going to share the fragrances that they sent me and I am making a purchase from them uh, to see how they ship, how long it takes to ship and their processing, uh, how they package and everything like that. A a purchase rather than just sending it to somebody to talk about their site. So once I get that, then I will talk to you guys about Forever Lux because I have been really impressed with them so far. So the first fragrance, I obviously did an updated review on this. This is Blossom Love from Amouage. I really love this scent. It's really gorgeous. The suede in this, it's just really beautiful but what i like most about this is when the bergamot lasts on my skin a little bit longer and it mixes with the suede that leather kind of citrus combo has been something i have been dying for loving 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 so this is a gorgeous scent and i really loved it uh, about a year ago when i started decluttering my collection i sold a lot i think all of my amouage scents because i really love them but i wanted to get the older older version of lyric woman and seal i liked but i didn't wear enough but i'm really kicking myself for <laughs> for selling memoir woman so i'm gonna buy that one soon but i've always loved this one and i'm so happy to have it another one from amouage i picked out is one that i know that i love and a fragrance I've been wanting to add to my collection for a very long time. And it's Fate Woman from Amouage. This is another really gorgeous scent and I'm just loving it and the bottle is stunning. And then the last one I got was from Parfums de Marly and it's Sudbury. Love this scent a lot. I don't have any. This is my first Parfums de Marly fragrance in my collection, but it's been one I've been meaning to add. Really, really love this. It smells gorgeous. And I've definitely been meaning to review this for you guys. So those what I got from Forever Lux. They were very generous. I was really very grateful that they let me choose the fragrances that I wanted. Sometimes some businesses are like, you know, exclude these brands and I understand why, but they were very open to letting me choose fragrances that I had a really good experience with fragrances that I wanted to review for you guys and also fragrances that, to be perfectly honest, are easily and very readily um, fakes of. And so this also lets me check their authenticity, this also lets me check the quality of the juice, you know, has it been stored properly, it lets me check the packaging and things like that, and I've just been really pleased and impressed uh, by their service and the fragrances they gave me. So those were sent to me. So thank you very much Forever Lux, and I'm really excited to have them to my collection. Next up, and I was so tickled by this, um, when I was talking about Floralinda perfumes um, and how much I love them and how they're a great, um, beautiful orange blossom fragrance, uh, they actually reached out to me and thanked me for the review and asked if I wanted a bigger bottle of their fragrance. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so nice, thank you. So they sent me a larger bottle of it right here. I have it packaged up and kept because I still have a lot in my, um, my little, orange so i was really excited and really grateful also they sent me a bottle of have it in here they have a new um, apple blossom fragrance that is supposed to be reminiscent of orchards and i've i've been to orchards i love orchards and i'm really super duper excited this smells so freaking good 
so good you guys it's like apple it's a little bit tart but there's like a greenness to this which is really 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 nice so yeah I'm really excited for this so thank you so much it was so wonderful to have you know to get that email and that comment it really I was really touched and I love these scents so much and they're really super duper affordable too I think these the sizes is like six bucks they're gorge orange blossom fragrances and the apple blossom smells so so good so that was something that was added to my collection that I was really happy and excited for also my mom got me a body mist it was really nice of her it's from the body shop it's strawberry because I like body mist for the summer because it gets really really hot and she really liked this and she's like do you want it I'm like sure so she got it for me so thank you mom we're constantly giving and exchanging and getting each other stuff so this is really really nice she also surprise surprise got me one of these too before they reached out to me so i have two so in the future very soon i'm going to be doing a giveaway i want to give one of those to you guys so you can try it out so that'll be up very soon and last but not least um house of Matriarch again had another amazing sale so i got some things there so the first one i got is forbidden you guys mm, i did a first impression of this this is a unique beautiful scent i've been meaning to add it to my collection forever so this is a very kind of umami like deep interesting mysterious scent it is a very heavily endolic tuberose scent and i really love this one so so much i've been meaning to get a bottle of it so now i have it so there we go there's forbidden and then the other one again their new packaging this is in their newer packaging and let me open it do, 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 do. this is antimony i've been meaning to get this one Let's see if i can get it out this is what she calls the smoky eye fragrance and the notes in this are fantastic so it has frankincense ashes henna palo santo uh, juniper sandalwood ghee <laughs> i love there's ghee in there uh, cobalt oud and precious atars amongst other things this is a beautiful just really gorgeous resinous and deep incense scent it's so gorgeous this is one that i had a sample of and i was like oh my gosh i need and so yeah really happy to add this to my collection too so that's it guys that's my fragrance haul for the month of june i think it was pretty epic considering there's not that many fragrances I got. I know last month I got like 35 bottles. This month I think there's less than 10 or around 10 but these are all fantastic fragrances and I'm really super duper excited to add them to my collection. I know next month's going to be a lot smaller. I'm going to have some news for you guys, some updated personal information as to why my halls are getting smaller and smaller. All good news guys but until things are signed and like the ink dries I can't really say anything because things happen so who knows but I do have some amazing news aside from that for my passion project so get ready for um, an announcement with that in the next week or two I've partnered with an amazing nose I'm not gonna tell you who it is yet but she is absolutely fantastic somebody that is I've wanted to work with and I was so honored and excited when she agreed to work with me on this project so I'm going to have an announcement for that coming up in the next week or two as well as more information on my passion project really super duper excited about that anyway guys that's it that's my haul video I'm going to end it here if you guys like these types of videos if you like my haul videos and things like that I know most of you guys like them some of you don't make sure to give this video a thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing videos like this do not like videos like this there is a thumbs down feel free to thumbs down it totally fine i do not get upset over down votes it lets me know the type of content you guys like to see on my channel and so it helps me better curate my channel to fit your guys's needs and desires thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell it really means a lot and i'll see you guys next time bye